The 6.5 is on the road at AMD's Advancing AI event here in San Jose, California. Dan, it's been an incredible event. You know, there was a lot of uh, the run up uh, to this event that got everybody tuned in and excited. And it makes sense because there's just this insatiable need uh, and desire for, for AI in every part uh, of the stack. Oh, absolutely, and, and look, AI hardware has been one of those things that's been a headline grabber all yes. year. Uh, you know, we've seen incredible runs for a very small subset of companies in the market, uh, and basically it's been because just having any ability to deliver product was enough right now, but we are also seeing what I believe is going to be kind of that next wave where it's going to be all about competition and innovation and ecosystem, and today really was uh, the personification of that. But of course, we're also seeing another wave, Pat, and that That's other right. wave is in client. And right. it's going to be in the devices that we interact with, and there's a new uh, profile of device that's going to be really AI-centric. And that was something that was uh, talked about today, too, that I thought landed really, really well. Yeah, it's super exciting, and, and it's interesting. Uh, it's just now starting to be cool uh, to talk about it, yet you know we've had AI on smartphones forever, primarily uh, doing uh, camera functions. Right, and the cool part is that it's coming to the PC, and I can't think of a better person to talk about it. Jason Banta, welcome to the Six Five. Thank you, guys. It's great to be with you today and talk talk about AI. I know we talked about AI a lot today. Yeah, talk a little bit more about it. But uh, can we ever get in, too much AI? You know, you, you can't you can't say too much, and um, right. it's it's. Uh, but we're you know we're doing everything we can to drive it forward and and keep it keep advancing it. And so that today we talked about the cloud. We talked about the server. We talked about the AI PC and really everything we're doing. And that's that's a lot of what makes AMD unique is we can deliver you know, AI in every type of solution. And so it's um, it's great to talk about and talk yeah. about how we're advancing it. Yeah, it's a bit of a banter between Pat and I and sometimes it's how long a video goes before AI or generative AI gets brought <laughs> up. And every year we do our 6.5 Summit and we've got all these different categories. It's like 12 different categories. It's like, you know, edge and, and, and compute. And then it's uh, it's been, you know, automotive and, and it used to have AI as a so category. But sense. now, yeah. now it's going to be edge AI. <laughs> Compute AI, networking AI, automotive AI. There's nothing else to talk about this year. So if you don't put AI in the sentence, it's like it doesn't exist. It's like, <laughs> you know, there'll be we'll have like a summit drinking game to say how many times did you know ever anyway. I've seen right. I've seen this game before. I it digress. Doesn't, it doesn't end well. Well, you know what it is, um, it's been a really tremendous year, but one of the biggest topics, and Pat, you and I have been on with a number of CEOs from the big yeah. OEMs that you supply, um, and it's been next year, late next year, we're going to have this AI PC. It's the AI PC, it's going to revolutionize, it's going to be the next super cycle. You know, first of all, just give us a little bit of the back, run, the, the run up and what's going on with AI PCs. Yeah, absolutely. AI PC is, is really uh, an evolution of what we're doing with AI. It's bringing AI you know, it's, it exists in the cloud today, it exists in the server, bringing it down into the endpoint, bringing it down into the PC, you know, close, you know, close to the customer, close to where they're yeah. using it. And we do that in a, several ways. We do that in a hybrid fashion, you know, sharing AI workloads between what's happening in the cloud, what's happening in the, in the PC, but also local AI PC or local AI applications running on the, you know, on the PC, on the laptop. And so bringing that in brings a lot of new capabilities it enhances security, it enhances performance, efficiency, uh, there's a personalization that comes with it at a PC level. So it's going to bring a lot of new experiences that is probably the biggest change in the PC that we've seen since you know the GUI came out. So it was it's a big change for us. Yeah, I I look at some of the applications that people are talking about and the processing of pretty much everything we do on our device. And I think even for some of the you know, the people who don't care about privacy are going to be like, uh, I don't think I want to be transmitting that. And uh, the speed of that and the privacy, the, the speed of the interaction with that and the privacy uh, in that is going to be uh, super important. And, you know, there, there's a couple waves of, of, of AI PCs that we're going to see. Now, you brought out the Ryzen 8040 series today. Uh, congratulations. C Thank can you. you talk about where that fits into the continuum uh, of AI PCs and some of the differentiators that it brings? So we, earlier this year, we launched our first AI PC solution, 7040. We talked about that at CES. Uh, we've seen you know, millions of those uh, systems going to the market, right. great adoption of that. And that's been good for both you know, customers that want to use Ryzen AI, but also developers that want to develop on Ryzen AI. So having those solutions in market is great. 
With 80-40, one of the big things we're doing is enhancing the performance of that AI solution. So uh, if you look at a 70-40 relative to an 80-40, it's about 60% uh, enhanced performance from an AI's perspective. And that means running bigger models, that re means running more models in parallel, and enhancing the, the, the response of those models. So we brought that, you know, we've, we've got of the AI PCs in market, you know, AMD is, is leading that with millions of those 70-40 solutions yeah. in market. And we're, as those new applications, those AI applications get in the market, we want to keep pace with that from a performance perspective. And that's a lot of what the 80-40 is about, which is going to be shipping very soon, Q1 and next year. That's right. Talk a little bit about the, the MPU. Um, this is the thing that makes a PC an AI PC. Yeah. And obviously, different companies are coming out with different metrics. You, you release some of your, your benchmarks and the numbers. Um, it's going to expand, no question. You're going to go generation to generation. It's going to continue to improve. Why, why are those, first of all, why, what is the metric you know, that you're kind of focused on? And why is that important for people to get that AI PC experience? Because I, I still think like when I pick up, a, I've, we've played with some of these, we've seen the prototypes. So, it still looks like a BZ, it hasn't changed. It's like, it's kind of like, you know, when you went to chat GPT, it looks a little different than Google. Yeah. It functions a little different. For people, a lot of people though, it's like, you know, I mean, maybe there'll be a magic button on it, but overall it's like, we don't know it's an AI PC. Like, what's that kind of thing, that experience and that measurement that makes something really an AI PC? Yeah, so, so you talk about the NPU. You know, it, 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 that is a um, specific hardware we build into into our chips and our solution that is built for AI instructions, AI workloads, and that exists um, on on a number of our notebooks today. So it's purpose built for that, and it allows us AI um, applications to run efficiently and run at, at a high high level of performance. So you need that 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 dedicated hardware. You know, the PC today, it, it does look very similar, but that's going to evolve. What AI is going to bring is new ways to interact with the PC. It's you know, the PC today, you see, you know, you see the keyboard and mouse, but what AI is going to enable is much more natural interaction uh, with the PC over time. It's going to get much more personal, it's going to include voice, it's going to include video. A lot of those things are going to come into the PC and make it much more easy to interact with it. And the, you know, the way the PC is going to respond to what you want to do is going to get much more personal. So uh, there's, there's an evolution that's happening, and it's going to change uh, those, those applications first, but then the form factor is going to evolve with it as well. Yeah, so um, you showed a combined TOPS number, mm -hmm. and I, I think that's the maybe the simple way that to be measured, which is the overall tops delivered by the CPU, the GPU, and the NPU, right? right. And then, and then the key becomes uh, getting ISVs to, you know, sign up and 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 and, and write to it and and determine the best way uh, to leverage that to stay within the the thermal envelope uh, of the solution. I'm I'm curious, uh, how are you enabling uh, that software for developers, whether they be you know, consumer ISVs or even uh, enterprises, and we're going to talk a little about enterprise later. Yeah, we so we uh, you're right. The, the way that the developer approaches an AI PC is is very important. So what do they, uh, what hardware do they optimize for? Our approach is really down to three big pieces. One is one is a deep partnership with Microsoft. Uh, they yeah. they're uh, obviously a predominant ISV in the market, and they they're they're leading a lot of what's happening in AI PC. So uh, deep partnership with Microsoft. We've got very uh, critical partnerships with big ISVs, uh, some of the larger content creation applications, you know, those, those, those big software houses that are established in the enterprise, they're established with consumers, so partnering with uh, you know, those, those ISVs. And then we're also doing something very unique, which is we're opening up our software such that everybody can get access to it. So today, in addition to the 8040 series, right. what we launched with, um, with Ryzen AI, we also opened up a software suite that makes it much more accessible, such that developers of any size can jump in, start developing on Ryzen AI. It's, it's very turnkey for folks to get started. Existing models that are out there on Hugging Face or yeah. you know, other, um, other places you can find those open source models, they can get started with those right away. So we're, we're uh, you know, trying to democratize it in that sense. So those are the three big pillars to how we're enabling the ecosystem. Appreciate that. So let's uh, you know kind of Make a last stop. Today was very enterprise centric, but it's very a lot of the enterprise focused on the cloud and the uh, you know the the LLMs. But the PC is critical to the commercial the experience in, in for business. And we've seen a few of the applications you mentioned Microsoft and that partnership. Obviously, the whole world has seen the Copilot. But like, 
How are you kind of seeing that play out? Because I believe the biggest user for the AIPC, at least the one that's going to really take off, is going to be actually the enterprise user. Yeah. But I've been trying to think about what are the applications? What are you seeing? You're talking to the ISVs. You're partnering with all these companies. How does this play out? How quickly does it evolve? And are those timelines we're hearing from all these OEMs? Are you seeing the same thing? Again, not asking you to call it. Just, <laughs> just, just, just want to kind of get your take. Uh, yeah, the, there's, um, yeah, there's a lot happening right now. So, um, you know, call, calling it precisely is tough. But I, I tend to agree the enterprise is where you're going to see a lot of, um, just a lot, a lot of uh, benefit uh, from what we're, what we're doing as an industry with AIPCs, yeah. AMD and, and, and others um, as an industry doing that. The, you know, the, the enterprise is really where you're going to see productivity gains from this. So making you know, a lot of mundane tasks that you know you would do in a, on a PC today, uh, automating those, making those simpler, um, making the PC much more personal. So uh, understanding how you, you know, like to do your daily tasks or whatever, um, bringing that uh, advancement in there, um, and then in enhancing the efficiency of it uh, is going to be a big part of that as well. One of the other big pieces that's, um, I think, unique to the enterprise is the AIPC is going to help uh, enterprises with their costs. So doing uh, AI applications in the cloud today, is, it, it is an expensive endeavor uh, for CIOs, for ID, ITDMs, and bringing, some of, uh, bringing those capabilities into the PC takes a lot of that off of what exists in the cloud, what you know, the server deployments they have to think about. So there's a cost element to it as well that's very important for enterprises to think about as they look at deploying AIPCs versus non-AI PCs. Yeah. So, uh, great conversation. Uh, I want to talk about uh, the roadmap. So, not only did you announce the 8040 series, but uh, Lisa also flashed uh, the roadmap. Yeah, further out there. Yeah, yeah, and, and again, uh, <laughs> if you can talk a little bit about that and kind of how this is in the in the continuum over time, because you you know had the 7040, you have the 8040, and obviously you know everybody will have a next generation. But what are some of the, the the design principles that you're looking at for for that next generation after the 8040? Yeah, so so we we talked um, a little bit about what's next. Uh, we talked about Strix Point. We talked about XDNA two, which XDNA is. Uh, the architectural name we have for that for that NPU. Right. So we talked about the next generation of that. So big performance enhancement uh, generationally. It's going to light up a lot of uh, larger models, newer models. Yeah. It's it's a you know it's a it's a big jump um, you know relative to um, so, you know the XDNA solution. Um, and a lot of the way we're thinking about that architecturally are our, our concepts from a design perspective. Again, back to close partnership with Microsoft on. You know what what's coming next. What those you know key uh, end user experiences yeah. are going to be, building around that to make making sure we're architecting that correctly, and then we're also learning from the feedback. One of the advantages of having AI PCs in the market today is we're getting feedback from enterprises or from consumers that are experimenting with it. We're getting that feedback, and it's it's uh, evolving how we're doing that next generation. So, right. greater performance, greater efficiency. And enabling new experiences of you know that that um, you know next wave of AI PCs in the market. Appreciate that. Well, Jason, I want to thank you so much for joining us thank here you on the Six Five. It's been a, a a very promising day for AMD. I don't know how many times we said AI, but I think it was plenty. I think we hit it. I don't know if there was a quota, but we we well, got there. Well, and I can't wait to get seated in AI PC. There we go, another one. I'm uh, <laughs> going to ask him to send me an AI PC prototype really soon. No, Jason. Just, that's smart of you, AI. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Dan, Pat, thank you. Thanks. All right, everybody, hit that subscribe button. Join us for all of our coverage and analysis here at AMD Advancing AI in San Jose. It's been a great event. It's been nice to have you with us, and we hope you'll come back really soon. But bye for now.